Hey guys, come grocery shopping with me. I am going to Super Shedrawi. That's in my neighborhood and this is what it looks like. This is the little plaza that is in. There is a Starbucks over there in the corner too. There is a Sonora Grill upstairs that I haven't been to yet, but I hear it's really good. I love that there's underground parking at so many supermarkets and malls because when the rainy season hits, it hits. So, and even like just for the sun, I really do love that they have underground parking if I don't want to park out in the heat. All right, so let's go inside. So Shadrawi is like your regular big box supermarket. This is a smaller one actually that's in my neighborhood. The bigger one goes even further with like furniture and appliances and all the things. It's like a huge Walmart, that big one. But this one, it has the deli still, so you can still come and pick up your deli items. It has um, the little seating area that you can actually like buy a sandwich or a pizza. It even has a pizza oven so you can get fresh pizza made daily and sit and eat and enjoy some coffee. It has, you know, all the regular sections. It has a whole bakery, which I try to avoid. Okay, so this kind of looks very shaky. I'm trying to take the video without, you know, kind of focusing on people's faces. So this video was a little hard to make, but I still wanted to show you what the inside of a supermarket looks like, or one of the supermarkets here look like. Um, bacon, something I buy every day. I just realized that all of these bacons have soy in there. So I'm going to be a little bit more careful about what I'm buying and check the ingredients regularly. That's one of the reasons I think the expats um, love to shop at Costco and Sam's Club. I might have to get a membership and see if I can find bacon in there without soy. But anyway, this is the bakery. I'll still take you around. I love to actually walk through the bakery section because they always have like the specialty items. They always have fresh made tortillas, of course. They always have like fresh breads, you know, hamburger bread, hot dog bread, whatever you need. And sometimes they will even have like, you know, I, j I did say specialty things already. But like I, I bought the Rosca del Rey, as I think it was, over the Christmas holidays, it's the cake. Rosca de Rea is a cake where they have the king inside and you know, you slice up the cake, whoever gets the king, you have luck for the entire year. I thought that was a very cute tradition, so I loved it. But uh, here are the prices. Remember these are pesos, so right now the dollar is about, US dollar is about one to 18 pesos. Oh my god, those look so good. I really wanted to take one out. But one of the things I do not like about many places here in uh, Mexico, actually, is that the pastries are just kind of left open, you know, open air. I mean, I, mean, I really dig that. I mean, I like the part that anybody just a talk over it, cough over it, fly go pitch on it. No, thank you. <laughs> I'm just... Uh, I feel like, you know, you can't tell what happens inside the bakery, but still. Oh, that little clip I was showing you. I like to get half and half, but they didn't have half and half. I was trying to debate whether I wanted to try heavy cream. I like to put half and a half in my coffee. And these are the yogurts that I normally buy for my daughter. So, you know, all your favorite brands are here. You can find your Faye, your Yoplait, your Oikos. Everything's here. Everything's available. So all your comforts of wherever you're from, you probably can find that or something similar here in Mexico. They have a lovely wine section and my favorite Appleton rum from Jamaica is actually on the shelves there too. It's in almost every supermarket that I've been at so far. Big up Appleton. So just walking through and trying to see what else I can find. These are the cheeses. The cheese thing kind of sticky in Mexico because you know you're probably not going to find you know the white cheese, the white cheddar cheese or even the yellow cheddar is kind of a specialty item like you have to get that from the international section at a cost i mean i try to spend no wooly pa money so here i am just kind of picking up the regular cheese i try to get kefir kefir every now and then too you know support gut health and all of that if you're curious about you know what the average grocery bill is like make sure to watch till the end because i am going to show you how much everything cost me based on what i pick up here this was not a, a full grocery run this wasn't like it was almost but not quite so 
Actually, you know what? Now that I remember what the bill was, it probably was our weekly run. I just missed a few items because story time, I went to the ATM that's inside the store before so that I could pull the cash and actually, oh, look at these, look at these, look at these right here. So I really love that they actually put like the pastor, if you know what pastor is, and the pineapple on a skewer. So you could just take it home and grill it if you like. And then there's some seasoned ribeyes right there. And I love this combo of the pork and the beef mince because I use that all the time together to make meatballs and hamburger patties. Yes, yes, if you know, you know. Anyway, so I was saying, I went to the supermarket, to, to the ATM machine to draw cash. I'm never getting a cash. The machine made the, so the sound. You know the sound I'm talking. Do, 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 do. And no cash came out. So I was like, oh no, I'm, I'm, I'm effed now. <laughs> you know, someone stuck it up my... So anyway, I called the bank. I did, you know, to do the claim to get back my money and everything. And I was like, Lord. So... I still had money on my card, so I did my usual shopping, hoping that it was just a glitch and it would come back by the time I'm done, take up everything when we need. And so, like, look at the pork. I love the pork. You know, Mexico is pork country. You cannot turn and don't see pork everywhere. My mom complains, by the way, that she can't find pork with skin because, of course, everything, every supermarket has, what is that? You saw a little bit in the lower left corner. The chicharrones, the pork skin fried up, it is delicious and I use it as a kind of substitute for nachos, like, you know. Anyways, moving on. So I was hoping to get back, you know, the money would just come back in my account by the time I'm ready to check out. No such luck. So I did have to leave the supermarket and actually file a claim. And I, I thought it would have taken like forever, but I got back the money in two days. So big up that because in jamaica it doesn't take anyways moving right along so quick hack sometimes i buy this box of like tomato sauce to zhuzh up instead of buying like pasta sauce so you know you buy the tomato sauce you have to put your own seasonings and basil and all the trimmings and things in there but yeah did you know that i don't think i'll have to actually check to see if this is true i was looking for stevia and I don't think they sell the white refined stevia that I used to buy, like in Jamaica or from walmart.com or Amazon even, because I've actually ordered that stevia because I can't find it here. And it was turned back. Amazon gave me a refund. It's not allowed to be imported in the country. And I was like, okay, I guess Mexico is trying to tell me to be a little bit healthier. So they only have the powdered green stevia not the processed one that's white so i was like okay fine i will get to learn how to use the regular raw stevia because i'm trying to not use so much sugar like in my tea and my coffee and stuff like that but the green stevia just not nah, cut it for me oh god look at the shrimp and the seafood i really wanted to try this but it wasn't in the week's budget for this time around so i put it back next time though next time that i see it there i think i want to try that shrimp because i definitely missed some of that seafood stuff the two lobster tails for 18 that's about a hundred dollars there is that good or bad i mean i don't I've, i don't think i've ever bought like lobster to cook certain things i leave up to the experts you know what i mean <laughs> i don't know nothing about cutting open no lobster tail and cleaning it and cooking it and all of that i leave lobster for the beach especially as a jamaican i love to go out to the beach and buy my fish and festival and lobster and um, bummy if you know you know so here's the price for like the shrimp but the, what's this salmon not shrimp i didn't buy any but i'm just showing you 562 that's about 25 bucks there for the slab so it was pretty comparative to jamaican prices in the supermarket i kind of think um here's a carton of milk and you get what was it saying two for 27 pesos so that's like two for two dollars pretty much um or three dollars yeah two for 27 pesos each so three dollar three dollar three dollar <laughs> and this is the fruit and you know veggie section and i love to go through here and pick up salad trimmings um we make a we try to make us a, a big salad and keep it in the fridge once per week so it, it's in there for like two or three days before everybody eat it off some of these ingredients i don't i haven't adventured out to try them yet like i have no idea what that um bush there was um and some of the things that are packaged there some of these things that are packaged there again I, they sell hydroponic lettuce in the supermarket which i thought that was pretty cool 
here's the price for a flat of eggs currently 96 pesos which is about five dollars i'm like waiting on it to go back down because eggs are expensive here too Watch out. <laughs> Those poblano peppers, those green peppers, I love them so much. Some things I come and I see it in abundance here and I am so happy. These are more, um, these are like the dried peppers, more ingredients that I need to start experimenting with in my cooking. I need to like look up some recipes and see how they use them. This section here again, these are the packaged ones that I was talking about. I have no idea what that is. And this is Nepal. Again, I've never really adventured to try it. I will eventually I think I don't know I don't know one day one day but I don't think I, I want to taste it traditionally first before I try to cook with it so maybe I'll be adventurous one of these days and actually try it Florida Jamaica <laughs> all right so this is everything that I got some tissue some beef some pork some bacon <laughs> some ham slices some bananas some peppers i love those little thin pork pork chop slices i guess we use, we use them for breakfast all the time some beans and all this came to a grand total of 1900 pesos or around 105 usd so tell me what you think i'm repeating this clip because i lost the actual clip where i videoed the receipt i'm so sorry but make sure you guys like subscribe and leave your comments down below i'll see you in the next one